You know that they didn't call them apostles when they was disciples? Right. Because the apostles mean one sin. Amen. So they wasn't sick yet, so they had to sit out and get taught. Amen. Anybody here? They had to sit out and get taught. Right. Now, go to uh, St. John 8.32. So it, 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 then, if you don't continue, you're not in here. Right. What does that say? And ye shall, shall know the truth, and the truth shall do what? Make you, Make you free, not set you free. You ever heard that people talk about, I've been set free. No, you're not. Right. Because when you're made free, you're free indeed in action. You should know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Go to Ephesians. Let me show you what truth is. I think it's in chapter 2. It just came to my brain. Let me show you what truth is. Go to uh, uh, chapter 2 and verses. Let me find Only way it says Jesus is true. Let me find Who here? Amen. Because Jesus is true. Find <laughs> The truth is in Jesus. Amen. And he said, you should know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. And the truth is in Jesus, and he's the only one that can make you free. Right. And when you get Jesus, you get, you're free. Right. Who is it? Amen. So, it so be that you have been what? You have heard him. See the word? You got to hear him. Right. And how can you hear without a preacher? Right. And have been taught what? By him. By him. And the truth is where? In the Jesus. truth is in Jesus, not Trinity. Right. <laughs> Jesus will make you free. Amen. Because Jesus is truth. Amen. Anybody hear me? It's so be that you have heard him. You've got to hear him. Go to, uh, uh, over there. In Romans 14. Now, now look. How can you hear, hear without a preacher? Romans 10, 14. How then shall they call him of whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? See the heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? He told me that he hear a husband. <laughs> He tell about the preacher. What preacher? How can he preach a self he be what? Sin. Sin. That preacher. The sin preacher. Right. Let me go for it. And he didn't send no Baptist. Right. You know why he didn't send a Baptist? Because they ain't got Jesus' name. So he can't send Amen. Because the truth is in who? Jesus. Jesus. Not in Trinity. Right. <laughs> so is it? Man. That preacher that been sent, he got to know the apostolic doctrine. Right. <laughs> he must know if God sent him. Amen. If he don't got the apostolic doctrine, God did not send him. Right. They went on their own. I don't care if you do like him. Right. Don't make no difference. If they don't preach Jesus, God didn't sin. Right. Amen. If they don't preach the apostolic doctrine, God did not sin. Amen. Care who they is. I don't care if it's your mom. Right. <laughs> when you get it, it's your job to tell them. Right. If you don't tell them, you in trouble. Right. But not tell them. I told my mom. 
The mom, that thing you talking about, it ain't right. Go to Acts 2 today. <laughs> Go to Acts 2 today. Watch this. This is what I showed it. I didn't have to be a scholar. Peter said, do what? <laughs> and be what? Baptized. Every one of you in the what? In the name of Jesus Christ. That was somebody asked me. He said, what's the difference between me and the Baptist or the Methodist? I said, they all baptized in Trinity. And the truth is not in Trinity. Right. The truth is in Jesus. That's right. <laughs> He said, "Let repent, be baptized, everyone, not some of y'all. How do you know what everyone means? Right. And look, everybody's supposed to believe. We got one Bible, and everybody's supposed to believe the same Bible that we got. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, and I figured it out. God got to show it to you." It looks easy that you read it, don't it? If God don't show it to you, yo, the book is blind to you. Yeah, right. yeah. You might think you know something, but it has blinded you. When you can't see it. And that's why the preacher got to be repetitious and go back over and over and over. Right. So imagine that. Hey, you think folks got it? I done seen folks been over 22 years and went over to the back. After all that training, what they do? They rejected God's word. There was no conviction there. And if they can some of y'all do it. I done seen you easy to do it. With no gang, no fight. I like a fighting pit bull. I ain't no little punk pit bull. Right. I like somebody that fights. Man. If he had to stand alone, he'll fight. Ain't nothing worse than a coward, so. That's right. Peter said, do what? Amen. Repent and be what? Amen. Every one of you wear. Don't be tell me you baptized in Jesus' name and you mix with Trinity. Then you mix with somebody that's your friend and he treated you too. He mixed it with it. Right. Common sense on the Hey, I remember one time, Bitch was out of town, and the Trinity man walked up and get on the poor pit. He got up and walked out. He said, ain't Trinity. <laughs> so wait a minute. Man. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so wait a minute, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's real. Peter said to what? Be baptized what? In the name of who? Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Right. Y'all don't think this is important. Yes, it is. You don't know how powerful this is. Amen. In the hand of the devil fight yet. Right. Now I can say the only thing in the Bible, but it's the only thing I'm preaching today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm preaching what God gave me. Yes, sir. He said, they repent. This is what a person got to do. They got to repent. Yes, that's it. Don't get back to that. Be baptized. Be somebody. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Be baptized what? Yeah. Everyone. Where? In the name of Jesus. Because the truth is in what? Jesus. Jesus. See? For the what? Remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the what? Holy Ghost. Because what? The promise is what? Unto, Unto you. you. And who else? And all that are what? Go back to Rome, uh, 2 John 8 32. Now, would you look at this? You should know the what? The truth. Where is the truth at? In Jesus. In Jesus. How are you going to know it? Somebody got to show it to you. Right. You can't get it on your own. Amen. You should know the what? Truth. truth. And the truth shall what? Make you, make you free, Jack. Not set you free.
free. Make you free. Amen. That's action. Jesus will make you free. Because the truth is in who? Jesus. Like I said again, truth is not in truth. Amen. And look, I, I'm not fighting against members in their church. You know what I'm fighting against? The leader. That's right. Uh, but not knowing truth. Somebody say that. Amen. Hey. I know I ain't got everything, but I got this one. Right. I, I, I got Jesus. Amen. Go to uh, Romans 8. No, uh, Acts 8. Uh -uh. If you don't got this, you ain't got nothing. Now look here. Start verse 29. Then the Spirit said to who? Go near and join thyself to this chair. <coughs> and fill it back in the tent. And heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And said, Understand it, thou what thou readest. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? Right. And he told Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scriptures which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shear, so opened he not his what? Wow. We open our mouth when we in trouble. But he didn't know what he did. Amen. Read. It is what? Humiliation. His judgment was taken away. Who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. He talking about Jesus. Right. Read. And he knew he asked Philip, he said, I pray thee, who speaks the prophet this of himself or some other man? And Philip opened his mouth and began in the same scripture. And what did he preach? He preached unto him who? Jesus. Not Trinity. Because he knew what truth was. The truth was in Jesus and he preached Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came to a certain what? Water. And the eunuch said, see, here's water. What do hinder me to be baptized? <laughs> now here. And Phil said, Y'all hear folks always say, just believe in your heart and, and he'll, he'll save you. He'll leave, leave your heart and make him your personal savior. Right. Yeah, that's all true. But it's more than that than what they just said. Right. <laughs> hey, I see. What's that name? Uh, that preacher name, uh, what's that preacher name, Jesus? I, I, I watched him one time. He had a bunch of folks. He old enough, he did now. Billy Graham. Graham. Billy Graham had it. All these folks come up. Then he says, Who, just tell the Lord in your heart as your personal sins. And all that come up, you're saved now. I said, oh, look at all those people. It's black. He should have had some water out there, baptizing them folk about a dozen, and, and a whip. Right. And they should be getting the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost should be running all through there. That's it. And all them folks is lost. Man. Man. I feel sorry for the people, but they didn't know. But believe, read. And Philip said, if thou believe with all thy heart, that's what he said. Thou may. And he had not said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that's what they want them to say. Right. But look, he continued. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both in the water, both Philip and Enoch. And he did what? He baptized him. <laughs> the same man that said, Accept the Lord as your, as your personal Savior. He, he did it too, but look what he did. He got baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And they went both up 
and out of the water, and the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, and you didn't saw him no more, and he went on and rejoiced. God must have filled him in the pool. Somebody said, man, when he come out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught him. And he filled him. And he baptized him in the name that he preached to. He preached Jesus. You run around thinking folks don't want to hear this. Yeah, they do. That's what he told us to do. Go to Luke 24, 45. I've been doing what he told me. Because I ain't got nothing to preach. You a lie. He told you what to preach. But they ain't gonna like it. I don't care. Everybody here don't like it. Don't make me no difference. I come to die. If we ain't willing to die, step down, Jack. Free. Did over here that was. That they might understand what? Scriptures. And he said, Look, thus it is written, and thus it behoove Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Come on. And that, and that what? Who should repent? And remission of sin should be preached where? In the Lord, in the Trinity. Didn't Philip preach Jesus? Right. Didn't Jesus tell us what to preach? Right. Is that red letter? Amen. I dare somebody call me uneducated when they got degrees right. and can't see this. Right. Yeah, I'm a street boy. But they can't see this. Right. With all those degrees folks got, right. they can't see this. Right. <laughs> God got to show it to them. Right. And that, see the word repentance? And remission of sin should be preached where? Yes. Among all nations beginning where? Yes. So let's go to Jerusalem. Go to Acts 1 and 8. Let's go there. He can command them with what to preach at. But you shall receive power. What? Yeah. You got to get the Holy Ghost. And you shall be witness unto me both Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the other most part of the earth. Come down. Now look at it. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from what? Jerusalem. Who's in Jerusalem? Did he tell them to go to Jerusalem? Right. Here goes Jerusalem right here. But wait for the what? The promise of the Father. That's the problem now. We don't want to wait for the Holy Ghost. We want to hurry up and get out of the room. And we run around talking about what they doing back there. We waiting on the Holy Ghost. You want to wait with us? <laughs> Being assembled together with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from the room, but wait for the what? Right. Of the Father, said he, and ye have heard of me. Read verse 5. But you shall be baptized with the what? With the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. You got to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. And, the, and, and that's the name. Because he said the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father was sent in my name. You can't wear a gym shoe without a tongue. You need tongues. <laughs> to be complete. Read Acts 2 and 4. Now, now watch this. And they were all filled with what? The Holy Ghost. And began to speak with what? Other tongues. Other tongues. As what? The Spirit. God is a spirit. So God gave the utterance. As the Spirit gave her, not you. The Spirit did this. He might have used your tongue, but the Holy Ghost comes out. Right. And the Spirit gave what? If you don't hear the utterance of God, you did not get the Holy Ghost. Because he said, believe on me as the Scripture has said. Right. 
Because I'm a scripture preacher. Amen. I got to stay in the scripture. Right. Who is it? Amen. Anybody here? Amen. As the scripture has said. Now, go to Acts 2 38. No, go to St. John 3 and 5. St. John 3 and 5. Jesus answered, Very, very, I say to thee, Except a man be born of what? Water. And of what? Of the Spirit. Now, who's going to step over Jesus and say, This is except the Lord in your heart as your personal Savior, and you are saved? Somebody lied to you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Who are you going to believe? That man or are you going to believe the scripture? Right. And where letter is Jesus? So who talking? Jesus. Jesus answered. <laughs> who is it? Amen. Very, very, I say to thee, a set of man be what? Born of water and of what? Spirit. He cannot. Who said the word cannot? Right. You can't do it. He said there's no other way to do this. He cannot enter where? Into the kingdom of God. Go out. He got to deliver the church Amen. to the kingdom of God. And if you ain't in that church, you won't be delivered there to the kingdom of God. Right. Look, he cannot enter into the what? Kingdom, kingdom of God. First you gotta get in the kingdom of who gonna take you to heaven? The body. When you get caught up, the church gonna get caught up. You're gonna be in the church. And the body is the church. Right. The kingdom of his dear son. Fine. The kingdom of his dear son. Look. That's the kingdom of God. He said he can't enter into the kingdom of God. Why? Why he can't enter? Because he's not in the kingdom of his dear son. He's not in the church. Right. Hey, baby. Amen. Okay. If the rapture happened now, if you're not baptized Jesus and feel the Holy Ghost, you ain't going. Right. And some of us think, oh, we don't get right. right. <laughs> hey, save yourself. Amen. Jesus, now look at it. Jesus, go to, uh, uh, what, what's your back call? Yeah, go to the kingdom of the dead son. Who has delivered from the power of what? And translated us into the kingdom of his what? Now notice, it is saying the kingdom of God. He said the kingdom of his son. Because you can't get to the kingdom of God on your own. You got to be transferred and put in the body of Christ so you can be put into the kingdom of God when he delivered up the kingdom. Right. Look, look, look at this. Who had delivered us from the power of what? Darkness. And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And whom we have what? That means, anybody ever drunk a soda and took it back and got a dime for it? In certain cities, you can take back your cans. Right. Here too, what you're doing, you're redeeming them. Right. And they give you money for it. Right. So that's what he did. He redeemed us right. and cleaned us up and brought us back and working with us. Yes, Lord. And who we have redemption through the what? Blood. The blood redeemed us. Amen. Even the forgiveness of what? Sins with ass. And that's the problem. We beat ourselves up too much. Right. Who is it? When God is forgiving God. Amen. Hey, I ain't going to beat myself up and go to hell. 
I'm going to get up my head and leave and ask God forgive me. <laughs> and pray. <laughs> Lord, help me. Yes, Lord. Yes, I, Lord. I ain't worried about nobody else. Yes, Lord Jesus. Save yourself. Amen. See, keep up with this, huh? He got to deliver up the kingdom. Right. To God. Find that when he got to deliver up the kingdom. So, if you're going to deliver up the kingdom, when you get baptized and get filled with the Holy Ghost, that puts you in the kingdom of the dear son. Because you can't get to heaven on your own. Right. <laughs> Somebody got to take you there. Who is it? And that's Jesus. Who is it? Right. Because that's what rapture means. We're going to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Let me fast. The princess is going to. Is that it? Look. Look. Here it is. What did I say? Then it comes to what? The end. Oh, we got to get to the end of everything. Right. When he, who oh, Jesus, right. shall, shall have delivered up the kingdom to. Look. Have delivered up the kingdom to who? God. Look. What kingdom? The kingdom of his dear son, which is the body. Right. And he's going to deliver. The church is the body. He's going to deliver the church to God. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. He's the only one can do it. Right. Amen. Can't nobody take you to God, but can't no man come to God, but do what? Him. Obama and Obama are going to talk that mess. Right. That ain't the only way to uh, God. Right. <laughs> Money don't make you know God. Amen. Money don't make your word right. right. The Bible is right. It can't be wrong. Amen. Sit down. Sit there. Sit there. God. Who is it? And they ain't got no Bible in their hand. This ain't their job. Their job is a talk show. Right. My job is to tell you about this. Then coming to what? Yeah. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to who? Notice, what kingdom? The kingdom of his dear son. Right. He gonna deliver to God. You can't get there on your own. Even the father, when he shall put down all rule and all authority and power. And for he must reign until he has put all enemies where? Under his feet. What feet? When he when, when he lift up the church, you gonna see his feet. Right. <laughs> and everything that's done, when he bring it up, everybody gonna be up under his feet. Right. Remember that kingdom of his son got some feet in hand. <laughs> uh, I'm in the right church, get it right. And he gonna deliver us up to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Lord, yes. Go to uh, uh, First Thessalonians. You got it? I'm going to go there. We're going to meet the Lord in there. Bye. We're going to meet them. Amen. And that's why we got to stay in the church. Amen. I don't care what you're going through. I'm, I'm going to come and sit. Do like Curtis. He's going to come and sit. Maybe God will to bring him out. Right. Who is him? I don't care if you live in the family of the camp cross. Sit down and let God help you. Right. Because that's the only help you got. Yes, Lord. I be like them kids. I grab daddy's legs. Daddy, I don't want you to go. Stay here. And they grab his legs. When I, when I left the boy to go preach, my kids is little. And they grabbed the pastor's legs. <laughs> they didn't want to go with me. They was, they was, they was grabbing the pastor's legs. They didn't want to need their pastor. 
<laughs> Somebody say, man. man. Tree didn't want to leave either. <laughs> man, I was packing, ready to come to Jeff City. I said, what you gonna do? You have a pack? She didn't look at me. I said, get on out of the way. I just, I just stopped packing. I took her clothes out just as nice. Look, she went to church like I wasn't even dying there. <laughs> And you know what? I wasn't mad. I understood. I slept in the pulpit. I preached and we got me some hamburgers and slept in the pulpit. I didn't call and see what she was coming. You know why? Because I knew my parents were going to get out of there. She can't stay. God called Who is it? And I remember the words he told me. He said, I can't keep you, son. You got to go. He said, I can keep you too long, you can leave too long, you can stay too long, or you can move out too quick. But God had me to move just in time. It was time for me to go. For this we say unto you, by the word of that we which are alive and remain, of the coming of the Lord shall prevent them which what? Read verse 16. For the Lord what? Shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel. You see this voice? Everybody gonna hear. It. 